Hello everyone and today we're talking dive watches and particularly Blanpa 50 Fathoms Grand the Date. This video appeared as a result of me watching a video of the random watch dude talking about the Blanpa and I gave him my reply and he replied to my message asking me a couple of questions and therefore the first question is hey Andre how is the wearability of this watch and the wearability of this watch is fantastic I have a full titanium version 45 millimeters on a titanium bracelet however if I were to change or add something to make the wearability even more interesting and more versatile and more technical I would of course add a diving extension because as of now the triple lock system does not justify and it does not allow me to have my micro adjustments whether it's been the weather temperature going down which is not the case here in Doha where we have summer all year long but in case or if I want to have a dive extensions and put it over this sleeve of my dive suit that would be really really good however the wearability of this watch is fantastic and the watch is a heavy one don't forget that it has a 120 hours power reserve and the watch itself is heavy however the titanium bracelet bracelet is featherweights it is really stunning and outstanding and amazingly built if you can see from this video with the screws being here adding up to the safety and also the drilled holes here with the screws not the pin bars but the actual screws are preventing your watch from accidentally slipping for your wrist and this is how it should be in a diving instrument however again diving extension would be a big bonus second of all the question is number two what about uh, the finishing of the watch and the finishing of the bracelet the finishing is something you would expect for a watch in grade 5 titanium from Blampa however I don't think you can be expecting any supernatural finishing just polished satin finish of the watch no reflective surface just matte uh, so I cannot comment much on the finishing if you're looking for a finishing you probably should be looking for a Grand Seiko I have a, a lot cheaper watch a Grand Seiko SBGH 255 with a lot greater finishing but this is how they position themselves in this game Blanpa I don't think they position themselves strong in the finishing or this is not what they aspire to do in general uh, the question number three how is the accuracy of the watch and the accuracy of the watch is phenomenal I have not been taking this watch for 62 days after my purchase and the watch has been running plus 34 seconds after 62 days so you can do the math now the watch is running perfectly and I have by the way I have not been wearing this watch for the past four days as I've been wearing my Grand Seiko SBGH 255 and this watch is still running plus two seconds in five days while laying down in the box and again I remind you that the capacity and the power movement of this watch is 120 hours when fully wound or wear worn on a regular basis on the wrist this is my daily driver this is my diver I do spear fishing with this watch I do dive a lot I do swim I do not keep it in the box I do not baby my watch and you can see that it collects scratches pretty fast but these scratches they just add up to the personality of this watch their favorite things about this watch are number one the loom the loom is phenomenal and the loom is applied all around the bezel here and it glows phenomenally and it glows for such a long time on the hour markers on the hands on the tip of the second hand on the bezel itself the unirotational bezel and the action of the click you just listen to this how crisp it is oh my god and guys uh, also talking about Blanpa Blanpa is not the watch you just wake up one day and you decide to own it Blanpa is a journey of your growth and understanding the horology understanding about watches I have been a watch enthusiast since I am a teenager buying Casios buying Seiko's and it took me some time to grow my understanding and appreciation of the watches and my journey with luxury or expensive watches started in 2018 18 I guess this is the, the time when I bought my first expensive Rolex Submariner two-tone I still do love this watch however I was looking for something different 
and I ended up buying a Royal Oak Offshore Diver uh, on a silicone, on a rubber band. I still love this watch as well, but then after wearing those uh, flashy watches for a while, and I, again, I remind you, I live in Doha, in Qatar. This is a very safe country to be wearing and exposing those timepieces without being scared that you might get attacked or your watch might get stolen or anything like that. But it took me time to actually understand that I'm looking for some low key and I'm looking so for some not shouting in your face luxury watch or I'm looking for a tool watch and I I lay my eye on Blanc Pas 50 Fathoms Grand the date and I actually laid my eye on this watch a long time ago but it took me time to grow to towards this watch it took me time to be able to afford not financially but to afford mentally to be wearing this expensive non-flashy monochrome tool watch from Blanpa and this is a journey guys uh, is it worth the money yes the watch is ridiculously expensive uh, the retail price of this watch was 74,000 reals which is approximately 21,000 US dollars I got this watch through the author authorized dealer in Dubai December 2023 and this has been my daily driver and my favorite watch now whatsoever up to date I had 10% discount and the story is actually very interesting um, because I do have some friends in Omega boutique here in Doha and I was wearing the Omega Pro Prof and Omega 6000 meters and Omega Seamasters but I never actually bought any Omega but just because I developed very strong relationship and friendly relationship with the dealer here locally and um, because Blanpa has been a swatch group as well I managed to contact Blanpa in Dubai and they were helpful enough to get to source me this watch to the boutique with a 10% discount and on top of that they also gave me 10% value of this watch as a voucher and I could avail it in the Rivoli it's another watch store and I could choose from various brands up for the volume of 10% volume of 10% of this watch so actually it came with 20% discount and then I did also have my tax return when flying from Dubai to Doha so this watch I got I wouldn't say I got it for cheaper because 21,000 is no way cheap but I got it for a sensible less price and don't forget this comes full bracelet full titanium so the value for the buck is there I am not planning to resell this watch anytime soon or I'm not planning to resell this watch in general I do keep all of my watches and I am planning to keep this watch for a long long time but I did do my research on a secondary market on a Chrono 24 and I do see that this watch is losing the value however it's not losing the value massively you can still get your money back from Blanc Pop. anyway I don't want to make this video so long I, I feel that I have given you a lot of information whatsoever and if you do have any more additional questions please do, me, do let me know thank you the random watch dude for creating your own video which was a push for me to create my video I hope it was beneficial for the watch community in general and do, me, do let me know if you have more questions peace out